My name's Nikki Hollander and welcome to U Train. Welcome to this week's warm up. We're going to start with front lunge. Okay, have a look at Amanda. She is going into front lunge for us. Notice that most important thing you have to know about front lunge is that your knee does not come over your toe. Okay, you can keep your hands nice and tight like she's doing. Again, don't forget to warm up, okay? So go at a pace that is a warm up pace for you. Not too fast, not too slow. This is getting you ready for the big game, okay? This isn't the big game. This is getting you ready for the big game. Okay, so this is engaging all those muscles so we don't pull anything, so we don't injure anything. And we're gonna do five minutes of this warm up, okay? Getting ready for the workout. This first exercise is really important to wake up the lower part of your body. So keep up with Amanda, work on your breath. We're breathing, we're opening our lungs, knowing that we're about to do something great for our bodies today. So keep that going, keep that movement going, and at pace that you feel. Nice work, excellent. Okay, everybody, second warm-up exercise, negative rows. Okay, negative rows. Why do we call it negative rows? Negative rows means we're really working on the down part of this exercise. Notice how Amanda is going up nice and quick, down slow. Going down slow recruits lots of muscles, okay? The, the slower you go down in that negative part, and I'm gonna use a technical term, eccentric part of the movement, the better it is in this exercise. Notice her feet just above shoulder width apart, and all she's doing is bending and flexing her, her elbows. Keep that going, squeezing from the shoulder blades. At home, if you're feeling this and it's a little too much, slow the pace down. If you're not feeling it enough, maybe pick it up. But we're just trying to recruit the muscles, get you ready for your workout. Nice work, keep going at home there. Keep that going, keep the tempo. And when I say tempo, I mean the tempo that you feel is a warm up tempo. Excellent job everybody at home, nice work. Now, Cassie's gonna come into Superman's, okay? Superman's is to work, is to really wake up your chest. It's gonna wake up your back. It's gonna engage your quads. You're really gonna get yourself ready to work out here, okay? This might not be the most comfortable exercise for guys, but guys, if you really work on flexing your abs, it will feel much better, nice. It's almost like a breaststroke. Think about being in the water doing a breaststroke. Pulling those arms back, Post delt, the back of your delts, okay? Your deltoids, your shoulder muscles, that's what we're warming up here. Okay, look at Cassie, she's pretty, she's smiling. If you can smile along with her, that's great. Think about it, she knows that she's about to do a great workout. Now, do you know that at home, okay? That is what it's all about. This warm up is getting you ready to do something great for yourself, okay? Even if your life is unhealthy, you don't get time to work out, this 10 minutes is gonna be crucial for you. Okay, coming into mountain climbers, okay? Mountain climbers, it's a little bit of a ballistic, dynamic exercise, but we're, we're, we're getting warmer and I think we're ready for this. It's about driving the knees up, the toes just hitting the floor when you get up to your pelvis, driving those knees and at a pace you can sustain. Now I'm gonna give you a little tip at home. If you bring your body weight a little further back, this is not gonna be so tough on your shoulders. If you bring your weight forward, it's all on your shoulders, and you're actually gonna find it harder on your shoulders than you are your lower body. Nice work, look at Cassie, she's keeping that pace going, she found her rhythm, and she's waking up her, her lower body. This really should get that sweat flowing. Even if the sweat's flowing, doesn't mean you're pushing too hard, because sweat is just our body's way of cooling us down when we're working to a good pace. Nice, keep it going, give me the last few reps, all the way to the end. Keep breathing, one minute to go of our warm up, so really, really really pushed now to the end now we're coming into judo push-ups okay judo push-up so watch what steve does here he starts up in a almost a down dog but up in the air leg straight he lowers himself to the ground drops to his forearms cobras like we did like we did last week into cobras and then back to his down dog position minimal movement okay minimal movement but at a speed that you can do if this is a speed that you can't sustain, you're going too fast. Try to pull back a little bit. There'll be time in the workout to really go for it. Nice, keep that going. We'll work. We're pulling the elbows back, waking up the triceps, feeling the chest. Nice work, stretching the hamstrings, getting ready for our workout. Nice work. 
Good. Keep that going at home. Keep pushing. Keep up with Steve if you can. If that's your warm-up pace, keep up with him and rest. Well done. Welcome to this week's Total Body Workout. Okay, we're going to start with Cobra push-ups. Okay, look at Steve. Get yourself in that position. Big breath. You've got your 15 seconds. Don't forget here. Drop that pelvis and boom, let's go. Okay, now notice that Steve's pelvis, his waist is staying low and it's all about upper body and flexing and extending his elbows, okay? Think about this as a push-up for the top half of your body, okay? Nice work. Really work on extending the back. Really get into that cobra position, okay? Just before a cobra strikes, what does it look like? Boom, okay, it really raises up. Work on getting that extension in the back. Nice work. Keeping a nice strong pace, this is intermediate level. Okay, and this whole workout, don't forget, this whole workout is gonna work every single muscle group in your body. That's why we call it the total body workout, okay? This is no partial body workout, this is for your complete body. Nice work, guys. Okay, coming into squats. Nice work, okay, so take your 15 seconds breath. Okay, you don't take that 15 seconds breath, you're gonna struggle to get through this. So really work on taking your breath when, when it's time to take your breath. And boom, let's go. Okay, pace is up now. This is intermediate level, okay? Good. Dropping that butt nice and deep, just below 90. Get it down to your heels and up. Nice work. Arms come out, count the balance, look at Cassie. Okay, she's getting that breath going. Each time she goes down, she's breathing in. Each time she comes up, she's breathing out, okay? Nice work. At home, you should be keeping up with this pace. If you're not keeping up with this pace, you may want to drop it down to beginner. If you are, beautiful. If this isn't fast enough, maybe you're ready for advanced. But keep that going. Nice work. All the way at home. Good. Doing something good for ourselves. Doing something good for our bodies. Nice work. To the end. Don't stop. Keep it going. Nice work, everybody. Good. And we're going to rest right here. Good job. Okay, guys, coming into side plank, okay? Take a look at me now. There's very little movement wasted here. I'm drop down on my side, left elbow down, leg straight. This is about the obliques, okay? Obliques are those two muscles on the side of your abs, okay, that look really good. But, you know, as well as looking really good, you know what they do? They help twist your body, they help move your body, okay? That's the great thing about this total body workout. Not only are you gonna look good, you're gonna feel great. You're gonna move great. It's gonna be something that you are gonna be able to carry around with you throughout the day. Nice work. You should have switched sides now. Straight legs, drive from the waist. Okay, this you could do this exercise wrong very easily by moving from the wrong place. Really focus on your oblique, okay? Keep that going all the way to the end. Keep breathing. Nice work, guys. Keep up with me. Five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. And rest. Good job. Coming into alternated front stance. Okay, catch your 15 seconds breath because this is where you get to recover. Nice. Oxygen around the body. Good. Okay, let's pay attention to Amanda. So basically what we're doing here, this is a lunge with a hop step, okay? This is a lunge, but you're bounding in the air, okay? So most important thing to remember here is knees stay back from the toes. You do that, you'll have no problem with your knees. Nice, keep that going. You have 20 seconds left in this exercise. Keep going right to the end. Back knee gets nice and low, right down to the floor. Good, this is glute, okay? This is dynamic glute exercise. Okay, you're doing this, you're teaching yourself to move through space in a good way. Not just looking good, feeling good. Feeling great, keep that going. Upper body stays nice and high, good. This is a nice, strong, intermediate movement. Right to the end, guys, keep it going, and step up, nice work. Okay, guys, we're coming up to neutral pull-up. Okay, take a look at Steve now. Both palms facing towards him. As he pulls up, head goes back, chest right to the bar. Nice work, guys, keep it going. Okay, now this is tough. Obviously, pull-ups, one of the toughest exercises, one of the toughest full body exercises you can have. As he pulls up, he cobras, he arches his back, he pulls his chest to the bar, palms facing himself. Remember, you've got 45 seconds here. If you're not feeling it now, you need to maybe up the tempo a little bit. The sweat should be coming a little bit. You should be breathing a little heavier. Nice work, all the way. 
Remember guys, if you can't do a pull up, you can do the same exercise, it's just a roll, okay guys? Think about it, you're squeezing from the shoulder blades, pulling the head back, chest to the bar. Nice work, good, pull him out. Look, he's struggling, but he's still going. And down, nice work, Steven. At home, I hope you kept going there. Okay, catch your breath, guys, okay? Your, your back should be feeling it now, your shoulders should be feeling it now. We're getting right into our total body workout, feeling great. Into Cobra push-ups, let's go, good. Hand shoulder width apart. Do we lift our pelvis? No, it stays low, we just Cobra, boom, up. Extend that back, bend the arms. Nice work, breathe in when you go down, breathe out when you come up. You have five minutes to go, guys. Come on, you're halfway there now, don't stop. Excellent, you're doing great, feeling good. This is your chance to do something good in the day. If you're sitting around all day and you know, we can have office jobs, we can have stuff where we cannot be mobile, we cannot move, this is your chance to move. This is your chance to do something great for yourself physically, okay? You don't have your physical abilities. You don't have anything, okay? You don't have your health, you don't have anything. Keep it going, right to the end, guys. All the way and up, nice work. Okay, guys, coming into the squat now. We are motoring towards the end, okay? That's a British way of saying we're nearly there. Keep it going, all the way to the end. Okay, feet shoulder width apart, get those 15 seconds breath in, oxygen around your body, let's go. Nice work. Look at Cash, he's keeping a good pace, keep up with that, this is intermediate pace, okay? Good, you should be breathing out when you come up, in when you're going down, good. You get the breathing wrong, this can be a really, really tough exercise. In fact, tougher than it should be. So you get the breathing right, you get the benefit of the exercise, and yet you can keep going to the end. Nice work, hands come out, counterbalance. Nice work. Excellent guys, push to the end. Excellent, 45 seconds, okay, the time is shorter but the pace is quicker, keep it going. Nice work. To the end, don't stop. Don't stop, push. If it's burning, if you're doing it right. All the way, all the way, last few, squeeze them out, and rest, good job. Okay, coming into side plank, okay? Take a look. You want wide shoulders and a, and a tapered waist. This is gonna help you get that tapered waist, okay? Onto your arm, driving up from the oblique. The oblique is the lowest point in your waist, okay? That's where you should feel this movement. Keep that going, we have three minutes left, okay? Push till the end, three minutes to go. Nice work, if you've come this far, why would you wanna stop now? You wanna do the whole seven minutes again? No, let's go all the way to the end, guys. Switch yourself over, drive, good. I'm not pushing from my elbow, my elbow is just there to stabilize me. This is all about obliques, nice work. Good, keep that going, and breathing. Keep that breath going, nice work. Excellent guys, drive it from the waist, legs straight, feet stacked on top of each other all the way, and rest, come on up, excellent job. Okay, alternating front stance. Okay, remember this is explosive, dynamic, ballistic, call it what you will, but make sure your knees stay back from your toes. Okay, be safe when you do this one, but be dynamic. Catch that 15 seconds, and let's go. This is your last lower body exercise. Now push, if you're feeling it, you're sweating, you're doing it right, you're burning calories, okay? We're not just working the glute, we're not just working the quads, we're burning calories. And what does burning calories do? Burning calories means you use body fat as an energy source. You use body fat as an energy source, you get in shape, you get toned, you get ripped. This is where it's gonna happen, right here guys, keep it going. Nice work, good, keep that lunge going, keep your form, keep your form together. Good, arms nice and high, good. Keep that going, upper body should be nice and tall, you should be looking at the wall in front of you. If you're looking at the floor, it's not right, all the way to the end. Keep it going and rest, great job guys. Coming into neutral pull up. Okay, neutral pull up, good, Hat, palms facing your body. Take a look at Steve, as he pulls up, his chest gets right to the bar, okay? Remember, if you can do a pull up, and not all of us can, you can switch this out for a roll. You're still gonna work the same muscle group, you're still gonna work the rhomboids, the back, the lats, and it's just gonna make it doable for you. So don't be scared, if you can't do this, switch it out. This is your last upper body exercise. Good, keep it going right to the end. Really work chest to bar, pulling your 
Imagine you have a penny between your shoulder blades. Squeeze that penny. This is the last minute. Don't give up now. Last few seconds. Good, guys. Keep it going right to the end. Up that tempo a bit. Come on, here we go. Squeeze that penny between your shoulder blades. Last one. Keep it going. Come on, guys. Squeeze with Steve. Nice work. Excellent job, guys. And rest. If you survive this U Train workout, come back tomorrow for more or subscribe now. And check out Daily Dose with Jillian Michaels, where America's favorite trainer gives you a piece of her mind every day. These U Train workouts have been powered by Power Music.